Hi guys, <clears throat> I want to show you a small notification to be done on servo opening in case you've got um, um, the previous batch of airplane addiction Excel or any other airplane where the servo opening was designed to fit the high tech, the larger high tech servos. Today we've got a new generation NXT, in this case 90 because it's on addiction Excel, but it can be done on um, NXT 80. Um, or NXT 70. So if you want to fit it, the procedure I'm going to show it's pretty much applicable to um, you know all the airplanes or different servos. Same, same idea, same steps. So first, going to be to um, the new batches. By the way, we're gonna we're gonna have a reduced size servo opening, so you don't need to do this modification. But it's pretty it's pretty easy. It's not going to be a problem. Um, first. Cut the covering, open the servo um, servo opening where you want to fit the servos. Be careful with the um, fuse lodge. Make a decision now where you want to install the servos. Either way, left or right. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with one hand. He's very sharp modeling knife for covering or you can um, use a heated paper clip all right um, one thing to do once you Cut the covering, that's anyway with you know any airplanes you're gonna do. Um, you wanna use the iron and just tuck it in, you know, just to make sure you know it's all nice and you know glued to the surface. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the ailerons. Um, in this case you wanna have the servo shaft out of focus, okay. Servo shaft as close as possible to the aileron. Okay, um, so we're gonna fit the ply insert just on one side, and it's over here because we want to push the servo or basically position it as close as possible to the aileron. In that case, the push rod is going to be a bit shorter, which is fine. Okay, so it's only one side, by the way. The modification is done on only one side, the other side is going to be just mounted as it should. Okay. All right, now that's one of the ply inserts, as you can see, all right, I'm taking the longer one, the longer one is just because I want a little more gluing surface, so we made it longer, but you don't need it that long, but anyway, it's fine, you know, use a, you know, sharp pin to pierce it as tight as you can, okay, and that will allow you to just fit it inside pretty easy. So you fit it that way and just rotate it to be placed just next to the carbon. Okay. And while holding it in this position, just apply a drop of CA on each side. Okay, I can't do it because I'm holding the camera, but just that's the way you should do it. And that's going to be the first step. I'll do it and we'll continue. One thing I want to show you that once I apply a drop of CA, in this case, you know, it was a little more than that, but you don't need more than one drop, you're going to see that it's just, you know, it's pretty easy to now remove the pin. Okay, so I'm just pulling it out and that's the way it looks like. Okay. It's pretty easy and it's there. Now the next step is going to be to glue the other piece of ply on top of it. Okay now in this case I'm going to use epoxy and I will apply some epoxy in here, in here and here and at the back. So pretty much I will apply epoxy here just to make sure it's glued really firmly in place. Um, the bottom piece of ply is just to have more gluing surface 
and that's pretty much it okay so um but it's definitely safer so definitely do it okay so that's done and you can see how the ply is glued inside okay close to the carbon just one side same here all right um next step we're gonna glue the second piece it's a smaller one as you can see okay it's a smaller one now the fit is gonna be probably pretty tight so you want to slightly trim one end okay either way with a knife just you know cut a little bit of it or you know just you know file it a bit just one end all right now it's gonna sit on top in this case you can see that the feet is not right just a little bit too big hold on for a second it's a little bit too big as you can see so I'm gonna trim it off and place it on top now the bottom piece is to allow better gluing surface okay and it is important so you want to glue it that way as you can see here and um, this one is going to be on top all right we're going to use epoxy for it and we're going to apply epoxy on all around just to make sure the gluing is really really good so i'm going to put a little bit here underneath okay and here underneath and basically along the seam so you know and, and on top of course okay um however before you um mix any epoxy probably do the fuselage first so you know with the epoxy you just need just a little bit and you're going to do all of them at the same time so i'm going to do the fuselage okay in the case of the addiction excel um you want to check both sides of the fuselage because um some of them the design i've made is one side with slightly larger opening to fit the 5245 high techs while the other one is actually smaller it is slightly larger than the NXT 90 as you can see it can slightly move but that's not a big deal because just just center it you know center it just exactly in center and just fit the two balls it's going to be fine so you don't really need any modification and on the addiction excel we only have one on the tail one servo which is the elevator one okay so the rudder is going to be a pull pull system um in a motor box so the motor box i'm going to check and we'll see if we need this modification but in any case if you need to do a modification um, let's say xr61 okay or you know any other plane for a different nxt servo you just follow the same steps you've done on the other one and you're gonna, you're gonna be fine okay but I prefer to mix one time epoxy and um, so you definitely want to glue the long ones first and be ready for the epoxy later with this one okay and do all of them at the same, same time because it's really quick okay so as you can see the motor box is um, the opening is pretty big again that was designed for the high tech 5245s we used to sell for many years and uh, we're changing to the NXT 90. Um, they're better value um, in money. Um, and they're, they've got very high torque. They're high voltage, digital. They've got um, two ball bearings. They're just great servos. Really, really good. And they're lighter. So, you know, we like them. Now we're going to do this modification here and you can see it's going to be pretty easy because in this case you've got excess underneath and everything it's really really easy. In this case the long ply is fairly long so I'm going to trim it and you can just put a mark and just cut it with a you know with a knife um, and just glue it with you know with a CA same as we've done before. Um, again you can see the motor box I'm placing it here so i can kind of push the servo or position the servo towards the back of the airplane okay it's more aft so then i can adjust the pull pull um wires with ease that's it okay so this is how it looks like and you can see i use as much as i can 
the gluing surface so it's trim just right okay now we are ready to mix the epoxy and do all the three in this case now the plane is going to be four um, one more thing is once you're done most probably the um, the servo is not going to fit because it's going to be um, you know slightly too small which is on purpose so take um, you know just a file and just file it a bit okay I you know or either way you can use um, you know sharp modeling knife just to a blade just to kind of shave a little bit of the ply that's another option but uh, with a file, it's, it's just, uh, you know, a bit easier to do. You can use Dremel tool as well. Okay. <clears throat> so definitely test fit them in before you apply the epoxy because you want to make sure, you know, they're fine and not, you know, mess up with the epoxy and get everything, you know, messy on the covering. So um, definitely test fit them. Make sure they fit nice in. Okay. Uh, it's not a problem if they're a little bit shorter because you're going to have epoxy anyway. Okay, so mix a little bit of um, 30 minutes epoxy and apply pretty well thick layer all around on the seam underneath in here, you know, uh, on the top. And then when you take this piece from here, just place it on top. And you can push it in. Don't worry about the um, epoxy excess. That's fine. You can take a little epoxy, a little bit of epoxy, and just put it on top. As you can see here. Okay. Now, one more thing is apply it right here, okay, because what it's going to do, it will prevent the ply from splitting once you screw in the, um, the screw right here, you know what I mean? Um, so, in case you're going to need to slightly reduce the size of the opening to fit the NXT servo, you can file it right here okay and leave this one because it's got the epoxy and everything so I would I wouldn't touch it you just file this one a little bit it's actually gonna be easier okay and make sure here it is glued nicely and it's aligned and let it sit do the same with the um, other side and if you need a little bit just add a little bit of epoxy over here okay as you can see right there okay nice and shiny right so in the case with the model box it's pretty easy to apply epoxy over here so you can see I just applied here and here so it's you know pretty easy and around here Okay, once you have enough epoxy, you can just kind of stick the, uh, whichever tool you're going to use for the epoxy and place it in as so. Okay, right there. And again, let me apply a little bit of epoxy somewhere like that. A little bit of epoxy right here. Okay. Once one hand, it's a bit more challenging. And we are done. Oops. Okay. 
That's it. Now, before you let it sit, you can just, you know, verify that, you know, it's right, it's aligned, it looks good, you're happy with it, just place it aside and let it dry. And you're done. Again, in this case, um, if the servo will not fit, we're going to file it just right here instead of that one um, and you know what in that case even though it's slightly sticking out I wouldn't worry much you know the angle is tiny 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 it's not gonna be a problem with the servo I don't think it's need you know any sending is needed one last comment the NXT servos usually they're more narrow as well okay so you just um, Place them in center, so you're going to have gap on each side, which is pretty much equal. Okay, so you keep it in center and that's it. Don't worry much about the, um, the gaps. Enjoy it.